Hello, Ken Weller here. Thought I'd show you my new toy. A lot of people have uh, mentioned, or at least a couple people have commented on the YouTube videos about um, a dual head printer. So, as you can see, I've got my little tin log hands two printer here. Uh, got it put together, did the alignment on it, um, got everything aligned good, and um, wasn't able to completely finish, finish the part because it broke loose. I didn't have any glue or anything on the glass bed, and I uh, put just a little bit of glue on it. I'm not even sure if I got over it was in the center. And you can see this part's holding all right. I'm not even sure what it is. I just, it was on the chip, so I'm printing it. And um, then I downloaded the Cura. And um, going to try to get some of my parts set up on there to uh, print simultaneously and um, so as soon as this gets finished printing we will um, attempt that. Uh, the assembly was really easy. It, the printer went together uh, very fast. There were only a few uh, few things to do as far as installation. I'm sure you can go online and see that. But uh, so far, everything has performed just as I've expected. They had these little filament sensors, and they just had them floating. And I went ahead and wire tied them to the wire here, so at least they have some stability. I don't know if that's the way it's to be, and I wasn't clear on how to attach these cables up here so I wire tied those also and um, just kind of experimenting around with it to see how everything works I don't really like this mess here with these wire ends so I may get some split loom um, and put over that to make it look a little nicer I'd kind of like to have a strain relief right about here, attach it to it so that it's not pulling too much on those uh, wire ends there and the connectors. But anyway, that's that's about it. Again, 10 log, hands two. Um, so far, so good. And I'll add to this video as I get some of my parts on here and see just what kind of performance I can get out of this printer. It is going to print twice as fast as any other printer that I have uh, virtually because of the fact there are two heads and it's printing two parts in the same amount of time. Um, and it looks like on some of the parts I'll be able to get three or four parts for each head so I'll be able to print eight parts uh, with this printer in the time that it would normally take to um, print four parts so that's what we're we're looking at whether it's the most economical I don't know I got this printer for uh, on eBay I believe for 390 no yeah 399 dollars so it was it's a four hundred dollar printer where I'm buying the ANETs and Tronix the XY2 Pros and everything for less than two hundred dollars so anyway I thought I'd uh, show you that and uh, we'll just uh, keep you up to date on how this is coming along
Okay, here I am doing a test print on the 10 log hands 2 printer. It's a dual extruder, dual head uh, printer. And right now I am uh, printing one of the uh, uh, parts for the helping hand. It's a laser light part and uh, we're doing a duplication mode so we're actually printing two of the um, identical same part and duplicating it um, extruder one is the main extruder and extruded extruder two is printing the duplicate e1 and e2 or it can duplicate and print the same part and duplicate it over here or it can have different colored filaments and print uh, different colored layers or components of a part with uh, the different filaments so there's quite a bit of uh, versatility with this printer so I actually have white filament in extruder 1 and gray filament in extruder 2. So we're going to um, see how this prints in the duplicate mode. And uh, the advantage of this type of printer is that it can print parts twice as fast because there are two heads operating at the same time, same speed. Um, a lot of pros and cons to it. I can print uh, probably four of this particular part on this printer in duplication mode, which means one head will print two parts while the other head prints the other two parts. But by doing that, uh, the printer will still be running, let's say that there are four hour parts, uh, the printer will have to run eight hours, which means that it's printing four parts in eight hours. So you're averaging two hours per part. That's twice as fast. Uh, the problem with it is that your taking up a certain amount of space here and true for that amount of space you're getting those four parts out twice as fast where a single printer uh, would be able to print those same parts in that same amount of space but twice as long to do it um, there is additional cost. You're paying more for this dual extruder printer. I'm going to do some uh, checks and comparisons to see how the uh, power consumption is on it, to see if there's uh, how much advantage there is to the dual extruder printer over a single extruder, and probably a lot of other things that we'll want to check and compare to see if it's a viable option uh, at some point down the road for a print farm. But we knew they were out there, we haven't had one, so we had to get this one and uh, start doing a little bit of comparison. I'm trying to get the new print farm going. I need to concentrate and focus on working down there I need to also concentrate on getting the website going and a lot of other things uh, besides playing around with a new toy. But uh, I did get this thing, oh, I guess I got it about two weeks ago and just now getting around to uh, doing some test printing on it to see how, how it's going to function for us. So, anyone interested in a dual head printer, 
Uh, I'll be letting you know how this one does and what kind of a job it does with the parts. We'll run a few more test parts on it. See how that works and uh, we'll let you know what we find out.